President-elect Joe Biden preparing to roll out the COVID-19 vaccine when he takes office yesterday, promising to distribute 100 million doses to all Americans during his first 100 days in office. All the while, President Trump promised to do essentially the same for Americans at his vaccine summit yesterday. Fox News medical contributor Dr. Mark Siegel joins us now. Dr. Siegel, it was really remarkable yesterday, this sort of split screen that was happening while the president was holding that vaccine summit, explaining just how this rollout will happen. And Joe Biden was on other networks unveiling the members of his of his new team. So obviously politics plays a big part in what we're seeing happen with the medicine side of this pandemic. So what essentially will happen? Will all Americans be able to get this vaccine? The answer to that is yes, Sandra. And you already nailed the issue. It's politics. The reality is that both are true. In other words, you're going to see probably 20 million doses of the vaccines or, or even 40 million doses, 20 million people getting vaccinated by the time this president leaves office because of what you saw yesterday, the great plans that are in place with FedEx and, and UPS involved and with the United States military overseeing it, everything and, and with CDC and McKesson explained themselves yesterday. All of that's happening. And then Joe Biden takes office. And yes, I think he probably will be able to get 100 million doses or 100 million people even vaccinated in the first 100 days of his term. That's ambitious, but I see both happening. What Biden will do is build on what's already there, and he doesn't want to say that. So it's going to be a combination. It's, he's basically committing to a program that's already in place. What he may do differently is he may look to vaccinate groups that are, are being overlooked right now or groups that we can't reach right now. Right now, the priorities are clearly to get nursing homes vaccinated because of 40 percent of the COVID deaths occurring in nursing homes and health care workers. Doctor, I also want to ask you about this, uh, these problems that have popped up in the first day. We saw the U.K. Um, vaccinate the first woman to receive it, 90 years old yesterday, but obviously other people getting the first doses of the vaccine. Here's the, uh, the Daily Mail headline this morning. Warning over U.K. vaccine rollout as two NHS staff members given jabs suffer anaphylactic reaction. Regulators are apparently urging people with history of significant allergies not to have the injection just 24 hours after Britain's mass inoculation kicked off. What are we hearing about this? If someone has allergies, are they supposed to not get the vaccine for now? No, Sandra, and I'm so glad you're bringing this up because vaccine hesitancy is an enormous problem in the United States and in the world. And let's keep in mind that the Pfizer vaccine has been tested on over 20,000 people in the U.S. and over 50,000 people around the world. And what that message is basically this. It's not just allergies. It's if you have a history of what's called an anaphylactoid reaction, where you literally, you get a big rash, you start to swell up, your blood pressure goes down. That's a very big, big, big reaction. It's not something where you get a little itch or a scratch or a sniffles. And people out there need to know that this is being done out of an abundance of caution, not because there's a great concern that this vaccine causes huge allergies or is a big risk for people with allergies. Very, very safe vaccine is what it looks like so far, but we need to give it to millions of people now. So important to keep the facts flowing to the American people over this vaccine so that more people get it. Dr. Siegel, thank you.